Hey, what's up everybody? It's Rick and today I'm here with a review on Night by Ali Wiesel. So Night by Ellie Wiesel is a true story, and this is written by Ellie Wiesel himself, who is a Holocaust survivor. Ellie accounts the true details of how he was in concentration camps, how his family was taken away from him, how he lost almost everybody he knew, and Ellie tells the story very vividly, very graphically, and it's, it's a very real, real book. When reading a book, I've never actually felt as much as like I am the character as I have when I'm reading this book. And the way that Wiesel writes this book, he's not looking for pity. He's not looking for sympathy from people. He's just telling the cold hard facts about what happened to him. And he's not speaking for just himself because his story is a story that's written for millions of people who could not live to write their own story. Ellie was bounced around concentration camps. He saw his friends get murdered. He even had to go to Auschwitz, the most brutal and one of the biggest death camps. And on top of that, Ellie lost his father, his sister, and his mother. And the way that Ellie was out writes this, it is written as a story format. Sometimes to people might think that it's fiction, but in reality, this whole story is the actual truth of what happened to him. He is just writing it in such a way that people might think that it's fiction because it's so horrifying and it's so unimaginable. I'm not sure if that's a word, but it's really, really hard to imagine this happening to anybody. But it's, it's the cold, hard truth that the Holocaust did happen and due to it, millions and millions of people died and millions of other people faced the same treatment that Ellie went through. I read this book because of school, because it's a book that is really teachable and it's a book that a lot of schools assign kids to read. And I know most of the time when schools assign you books to read, they're, they're, honest, they're honestly pretty bad most of the time. But Night was one of the only books that I've really ever enjoyed that was assigned to me by school. And it just really, really came to show on how, how many layers there are to this book. Now the theme of this book is indifference. Ellie writes this whole book about touching on the topic of indifference and how indifference causes things that we don't mean to cause, but they happen because of one person's indifference, which leads to another, which leads to another, which is how the Holocaust started. I don't know if anybody might get mad at me about for saying this, but it's truth. A big reason for the Holocaust was indifference. You don't think the Americans knew that there were millions and millions of Jews, Czechs and other ethnic people locked away in concentration camps? You don't think that the Allies knew of what was going on? Trust me, they knew, but they didn't do anything. Why? Indifference. And yes, I know eventually the Allies came, they freed everybody, and Auschwitz was actually liberated by an ally force. But by then, I mean, it was, it was really late. By then, millions and millions of people had died. Others were living in these camps for tens of years. And the few Holocaust survivors who are out there these days, I mean, the PTSD that those people face is unimaginable. They really, they have went through such horrors. They went through hell and back. And they're still managing to live their lives. But with the PTSD that they've been given, due to this indifference, it's, it's not okay. The best thing we can do is not repeat that. And I'm sure as most of you guys have seen in the news, this and that, obviously racism is still a big thing in America in this country and everybody handles it differently, right? And whether you think of it or not, the Holocaust was just a extreme racist act because it was only Jewish people, Czechs, and other certain ethnic groups that were being persecuted. Hitler was a racist. And obviously in this country, we see it every other day. There's police shootings. 
the killing of George Floyd, the killing of Breonna Taylor, the persecution of different ethnic groups around the world, not just America, but the whole world. It's there. And even me. I mean, as most of you notice, I have brown skin, and I've sometimes, in cases, have been treated differently based off the way I look. But what's happened to me is nothing based on what's happened to millions of individuals around the globe. I think the best thing that we can do is not repeat that same mistake of indifference. Because one person's indifference will lead to another, which will eventually lead to starting a second holocaust. Whew. Well, I mean, that was some deep stuff right there. But I think it was pretty appropriate for the book that we're talking about, considering that the book touches on indifference and racism as a whole. And I really hope that everybody who hasn't read this book, I really hope that you can read it and you find a way to read it because Again, I think this book teaches some of the most valuable life lessons I've ever read in a book. And I think that everybody who reads this book gets a really good understanding on the themes of indifference and the understanding of what really happened in the Holocaust. Because no matter how many museums you visit, the real stuff that you learn is when you hear it from somebody who went through it. Of course, I will rate this book a 10 out of 10. Again, so powerful, so amazing. Trust me, you guys. You guys really gotta read this one. And that's all I've got for today. Again, we're really close to 500. I hope you guys liked the review and thanks for watching.